Now, we're going to change it up a bit in our final minutes and put all of you guys on the clock for brief reactions to other news stories this week. March 16th was the one-year anniversary of the shooting of James Boyd, a homeless man who was killed by police officers in the foothills of Albuquerque. The shooting was caught on video and sparked a lot of outrage when people saw it online. A lot has happened since then, certainly. The DOJ has released a report on APD. The city agreed to some reforms, and two officers are facing charges in his death. Did Mr. Boyd's death change how you think about APD, Sophie, and in, in what we've got going so far? What, what's I happening? Think it, you know what? I think it's changed how we mm. think about APD, but I also think it's changed to a certain extent how the country and the world think about Albuquerque. I mean, ah. I do uh, Google News searches for Albuquerque every day for the Duke City Fix, mm -hmm. and we are a footnote in every police shooting throughout the country and sometimes in other parts of the world. Mm -hmm. It's scary. Rob, your thought? Um, I think that the big difference in the James Boyd shooting mm -hmm. uh, as far as affecting people's thoughts is because it was on video. Right. Mm -hmm. you know, there, there were plenty of right. shootings, unfortunately, right. in Albuquerque before, but they were not on video. Yeah. And this got to people who normally would reflexively defend the police, mm -hmm. who came back and said, at best, this makes me feel really uncomfortable. That's right. Where it goes from here, I don't That's know. That's right. At the most, Mr. Boyd is not forgotten. That's a good thing, you know. Right. At the least, I um, But say. I think mm -hmm. that, you know, a year later, we should measure any kind of progress that we've made as a community by the quality of life of people in similar situations as right. Mr. Boyd. You know, right. what, what about the people who were, you know, have schizophrenia, mental problems, whatever, mm -hmm. and are homeless, mm -hmm. like there's that very vulnerable intersection who were in that same position a year ago, right. where are they now? That's and right. I would argue that, you know, we're, we're not making much progress. We know some of them are under 10. You know, I, I would we're a little you, bit over. I, I, quickly, no, just, quickly, quickly, the two things are, it's a shame that this shooting hasn't changed what needs to happen for people like, like Laura just pointed out. Mm -hmm. The other thing that's a shame is that think of all the stuff that's happened since then that's not good for APD. Well, mm -hmm. go. I don't think they changed after this. Yeah, they go. Good news here. An Albuquerque startup won a pitch contest this week at South by Southwest, a big event there in Texas. Plug Solar wants to develop an adapter that people could use to demand solar energy when they plug in their devices. It sounds pretty hot. Do you think? I'm going to go with Laura on this one. I love these public safe facing uh, technologies. Uh, you, you know about solar. But this is indicative of, of, of where technology is going with solar. Right. It's beautiful. Well, it's really fascinating, too. It's an interesting concept because, mm -hmm. you know, in case anybody you know doesn't know, you can't really follow an, a renewable green transmission electron mm. and a brown one. Mm -hmm. They're just electrons out there. So what this, this is a really innovative idea where you're basically um, almost tracking demand. So essentially the way that they're correlating, you know, uh, renewable energy generated is through credits uh -huh. that are then, you know, generated and basically this this demands a certain amount of those credits. And so it's a really different concept. Yeah. Um, uh, not exactly tracking, you know, electrons, but you're tracking um, the amount of credits that get issued sure. based on those electrons. It's fun. It's I fun. just think yeah. it's great to see Albuquerque being recognized for something other than police shootings. That's or right. That's right. Some That's right. crazy movie. Right. I mean, this is a, this is a good <laughs> show that, I mean, I think it's, and it's important because I think mm -hmm. Albuquerque and New Mexico has a very bright future in the renewable energy business. I agree. This company is gearing up for its Kickstarter campaign, and yeah. I am really excited about putting some money in. It's a big win. In the hopes that maybe I'll Absolutely. get one. To, you know, to Laura's point. Wait, is that a disclaimer that you're an investor? Uh, <laughs> I, I don't think I get uh, much much out of that. But, but um, you know, we talk, we talk in marketing about push versus pull marketing. Mm. And this is a great example of pull where the com consumer says, I want it, mm -hmm. and the market comes forward. I'm going to yeah, you there, Rob. Sorry about that. We're a little bit short of time. That's all the time we have. But if you head to our website at NewMexicoInFocus.org, you can catch more of this on the clock online.